Hi everyone, welcome to Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. This game has just thrown me straight into it, we're playing as Link right now. And so yeah, let's just get straight into it I guess. Teaching us the controls, these are quite simple, just need to swing our sword. In this game we do play as Princess Zelda, so I assume we're not going to be playing as Link for very long at the start of this game. Um, I do wonder what's going to happen to him, but I guess we're going to find out. Now this game has the same art style as Link's Awakening I think it's called, which I do have and I have played a little bit of. I haven't played as much of it as I have Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom, but I think I might do especially after playing this game, because obviously I know I'm going to be playing more of this game because you get to play as Zelda, which is something I've always wanted to be able to do in the Zelda franchise considering the games are named after her. I've always thought it would be an amazing time when we finally get to play as her. But for now, we're playing as Link, of course. We need to find out what happens to Link and why we end up having to play as Zelda. Hmm, how are we going to defeat this bat? Oh, there we go. It was pretty easy, actually. Oh, there's a lot of bats down here. Sorry if you can hear my controller clacking away. I don't have the best mic set up. I've been getting a lot of comments recently about my audio. Um, I just use a Blue Yeti mic. I cannot afford anything else. But if anyone out there wants to donate a really lovely mic set up to me, I'm more than happy to take it from me. <laughs> so if the audio is annoying for you, I'm so sorry. I can only do as best as I can. I live in a very small flat with very thin walls. And you know, I think a lot of people assume all YouTubers have a lot of money and live in big mansions, but it's not true. I'm very poor and I cannot afford a good setup. Oh my goodness. I'm scared. Guys, I'm scared. There's too many of them. The blue one is scaring me. Phew. That's scary, guys. Don't know about you, but I was a bit scared there. Okay, let's see what's going on in this dungeon. Oh, Princess Zelda is trapped in a purple crystal. So, it's you again. Oh, wow. Ever the troublesome one. Only this time, your presence serves me. Now I'll end you both. <laughs> Link is ready for battle. Me on the other hand, I am not. I'm scared. Oh my god. I'm really scared. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, guys. Please don't judge me. I'm not used to battling much, I'm a Cody gamer, okay? So do not judge, do not judge me please. I say that but I do play a lot of fighting games so actually you can judge me as much as you like. Ooh, I dodged that pretty well I think. <laughs> Who is this by the way? Is this Ganon as a pig? I have not played the really old Zelda games so I don't know. Oh crap, I don't know who these characters are, so um, I don't know who this pig guy is. Is he Ganon? Ganon has so many forms. I was playing Tears of the Kingdom with my partner the other day and helping him beat Ganon and uh, it looked really really difficult. <laughs> there was like a hundred million stages of the battle so I wonder if this one will be similar. That evil laugh. <laughs> I'm scared, guys. Why is he laughing like that? Well, we did it. Now we can save Zelda. Oh. I guess not. We're dead. <laughs> Link's just dead now. Nice. Now we get to be Princess Zelda. In the cutest little lilac dress, by the way. So let's escape from this crystal. You know what that really reminds me of Annie in Attack on Titan, if any of you have ever watched Attack on Titan. She gets like encased in a crystal for like three seasons. Very Princess Zelda-esque. Oh, it's so nice to play as a girl. Oh, there's something in Link's cape. Let's check it out. You got the swordsman's cloak. This is the hooded cloak that the swordsman in green dropped. It would almost completely cover your face if you wore it. Maybe we should wear it and be all nice and cozy. That gloom is scaring me, guys. It looks awful creepy. Oh. Well, turns out we're dead now too. Love that for us. Wait, 
What the heck? Oh, was I supposed to run? <laughs> the first time I just stood there and watched it happen. Um, guys, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm getting cheese by glue. <laughs> guys, it's gonna catch me. I'm so scared. We can do this. I'm a princess. I'm strong. I'm a princess. I'm strong. Follow the fairy. 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 We got this, guys. We got this. <gasps> we don't got this. We don't got this. We did it. I wasn't scared at all. That was so easy. It's not like I died or anything. <laughs> what is that stuff? I can't believe Link's dead. I mean, I assume he's not actually dead, but he's not here. And now we're going to get the beautiful opening scene that shows that we're going to be playing as Zelda this time. Very reminiscent of the Breath of the Wild opening scene and Tears of the Kingdom. It's beautiful. And we get to play as Zelda to save Hyrule. Oh, hello. So guess what guys, Link is dead and now I have to save everyone. Oh cool, let's go. <laughs> That's how I imagine that conversation went. Oh actually it would have sounded like this. Link is dead. It is I, Princess Zelda, who must now save Hyrule. Oh, look at all the villagers. They're all so cute. Princess Zelda, you're safe. What a relief. You're not injured, are you? We were sick with worry. A whole week is a long time to be missing. I was in a crystal for a week. Oh my god, I must be absolutely starving. We thought you'd been stolen away, like all the others. The soldiers searched for you every day. Princess, play with me, play with me. And now is not the time for playing. My boyfriend has been sucked up by gloom juice. <laughs> I mean, is he Zelda's boyfriend? I think we can all agree he's Zelda's boyfriend, right? I'm so glad you're back, but now one of those icky rifts has opened up here too. Princess Zelda, now that you've arrived, please allow me to welcome you back as well. May I suggest you promptly speak with the king? I'm sure he'll be deeply relieved to hear that you've returned safe and sound. Okay, so in case you guys weren't aware about this game, I can read you the back of the case because Nintendo so kindly sent me this game, so thank you so much to Nintendo. On the back of the case it says, In a high rule without Link, Princess Zelda stars in an adventure that will echo through the ages. When puzzling rifts open up across the great land of Hyrule, things and people get stolen away without a trace. Even Link. Now it falls to Princess Zelda to save him and her people. Let the objects of Hyrule lend you their help with the power of echoes. Create echoes of things you've learned whenever and wherever you need. So the basic premise of this game is that we can use like random furniture to get around the world, which is really silly and fun I think, so I'm interested to see how that works. Now that you're back, I can scratch that worry off my ever-growing worry list. Although I never forgive that evil creature who took you. He's staying on my resentment list. <laughs> Princess, please don't ever go away again, okay? When I heard you were back, my sigh of relief could have knocked down a house. I'm so grateful you're alright. You should go rest up. Okay, let's explore the town. Look how cute this is, guys. It's like a little toy playset. So cute. One of those creepy rifts opened up in the middle of town. It's so dark and scary looking. What if... What if you fall in? What would happen? Well, I guess we're gonna find out. Hello, little doggy. <laughs> oh, what a cutie. Look at these little houses. They are so cute. Ah, it's wonderful to see you safely home again. Lady Impa has been beside herself with worry ever since you were kidnapped. She's usually in the castle around this time. Please go let her know you're back for her sake. Okay, everyone's telling me to go away, basically. <laughs> Well, isn't the graphic style absolutely adorable? I would love a game where we play as Zelda in the style of Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, but I think this art style is so adorable, so I'm more than happy with this as well. Okay, what's going on here? 
Princess Zelda, it's so good to see you're safe. I'm sure everyone in the castle will be relieved too. Oh, please mind your footing near the rift. It just appeared, but it isn't growing at least. You know how it is with rifts. When they show up, people get stolen away. Everyone in town is accounted for, but please do be mindful. Okay, I'll be very mindful, very demure, very cutesy. Princess Zelda, can you believe this? Our sweet, sweet home is... Well, just look. We can't get inside. What are we going to do? Oh, that's so sad. I'm sure you can stay in the old lady's place. We get to stay in a room in the castle since our house is unusable at the moment. Oh, yeah, that's a better idea. Come stay in my castle. I'm so excited to see which room we get. I bet I'll be luxurious. Hey, can you at least try not to sound so excited? I mean, look at our place. I'll get out of here. I know you're excited about it too. Well... Okay, yeah, you got me. I am. Ever since you were kidnapped a week ago, I've been incapable of getting even a wink of sleep. But now you're back, I bet I'll be sleeping like a baby tonight. Welcome back, princess. Oh, everyone is so nice to us here. I guess we are the princess, so... I'm so happy you're back. We were starting to think we'd never see you again. We searched for you every single day, Princess Zelda. I love all the little trees and flowers. So cute. Let's head into the castle. Well, it's crazy to be in Hyrule Castle and it not be destroyed. I think in every Zelda game I've played it's been destroyed so this is nice. <laughs> it's Impa! She's so cute in these graphics. Ah sweet child, such a relief to see you safe. Welcome home princess. I must say, your loyal Impa felt so flustered that I could not save you myself. On top of your kidnapping, rifts have been appearing all over. It's a source of much fear. I'm certain your return will be a great comfort to the people during these troubling times. You've always been quite spirited. Though, I didn't expect you to make it back on your own. Well, I'm so overcome with emotion that I've spoken out of turn. Off you go now, the king awaits you. In the meantime, I'll draw a nice hot bath for you to enjoy when you're ready. Ah, oh, thank you, Impa, you're so sweet. Let's go see the king then. Here he is. <laughs> These graphics are so cute. Princess, I'm so relieved you're back. Oh, princess, what an absolute joy to see you safe and well. Despite that joy, I feel ashamed that we were unable to find you. On behalf of Minister Left and me, please accept our apologies, Princess. General Right, Minister Left. <laughs> the names are left and right? That's so funny. I appreciate your sentiments, but let's not dull this joyous moment with our regrets. Zelda, my dear daughter, you did well to return to us. Come closer so I may look upon you. Ah, oh, I'm so relieved. You are healthy and whole and well. So tell us, Zelda, what happened to you? Well, I was trapped in a huge crystal by this big pig thing, and then Link came and fell into an abyss. A swordsman in green saved you from a fell beast? Quite the tale. But after defeating the monster, the swordsman was taken by a rift. It's him we have to thank for saving your life. So he was pulled into a rift, another one stolen away. Indeed, I hope he is safe. Do none of these people know who Link is? They're just calling them the swordsman in green. I find that quite interesting, that they aren't saying, it's Link. Stolen away, a tidy phrase for a terrible fate being taken by a rift, an unsettling phenomenon. Our fair high rule has continually been plagued with these rifts and disappearances. As you know, rifts have been appearing for a long time, claiming our young ones. Indeed, so many children have been stolen away. We've remained vigilant, but despite our best efforts, we've never been able to prevent the rifts from appearing. Ultimately, those who've experienced losses have been left to contend with their grief. Now, I've been receiving reports about people disappearing from every corner of Hyrule. And it isn't just children anymore, adults are disappearing too. What could be causing such an uptick? For now, we should also welcome finding the swordsman in the green tunic, and with haste. Your Majesty! What is it, soldier? Urgent news! The rifts, they're causing serious trouble. Oh no! Please, soldier, what are the details? Ah, of course, Your Majesty. <gasps> no! That's so sad! Oh my gosh. There's evil pigs everywhere. Firstly, we received word that someone from Southern Village was swallowed up by a rift. Then, we also received news of dark monsters attacking people in Hyrule Field. That is troubling news indeed. Thank you for your report, soldier. Tell the rest of your battalion to prepare for departure immediately. Yes, Your Majesty. Minister Left, continue your investigations into the Rift phenomenon. I am expecting you to find a way to save any and all who have vanished into the Rifts. You can count on me. General Wright, I leave the monsters to you. Prepare your troops and head into battle. On my honour. This crisis must be dealt with. Continue looking into the Rifts and locate those who've been lost.
Um... I think you're about to be lost, yep. Oh no! He saved us! Oh my goodness, they all got sunken in. Oh my goodness. It really is just us. Oh no, they've come out as like creepy gloom people. Guards, lock her up immediately. What? Lock up the princess? My daughter created the rift you see behind me. We cannot leave such horrible power unchecked. What? Disturbing though it may be, General Wright and Minister Left bore witness as well. You guys? What the heck? Well, don't just stand there. Lock her up at once. Yes, your majesty. What? I didn't do anything. That's it, guys. This is just rude, rude, rude. Why am I the bad guy? Why did we lock up the princess? What could the king be thinking? You haven't heard? Apparently she's the one who created the rift in the throne room. But they'll just keep popping up as long as she's around. There's even word that the king plans on putting her to death to save the kingdom. I just can't believe the princess would be the cause of these things. Um. I'm about to be killed for something I didn't even do! Poor Zelda. It's that pretty fairy again. You can see me? My name's Tri. That blue monster? He caught me too. I've been watching you since then. I followed you here, to this castle. Oh yeah, I should ask. What's your name? Zelda, got it. Zelda, your life is in danger if you stay here. The person who put you here is the king, right? He told someone to hurry and prepare for your execution. Once I heard that, I figured I'd better tell you. The king and the other two got pulled into that rift. The three that came out seemed weird. Oh, you noticed they seemed weird too? You think they're imposters? What an odd word. Anyway, it's too dangerous for you to stay here. I think if we could save the people who've been taken into rifts, we could reveal the truth. But none of those people will be able to get out on their own. We have to save them together, Zelda. But first, let's save you. Let's get you out of here. <laughs> They're so cute. You can't get through the bars? Huh, that's interesting. Let me help. Is that for me? <gasps> Thank you very much. He borrowed the tri rod. It's a mysterious rod the same colour as tri. It's warm to the touch. I can create echoes of things in this world. I'm not sure what will be most useful to you, but I'm sure this will come in handy. Go up to something that's shimmering, then press ZR. <laughs> you learned the table echo. Good job, that's how you learn things. Anything you've learned can be echoed with Y. Okay, let's try this. So, if we jump up here... Oh! Look at that! Perfect job! What you created is called an echo. Press it R when you're near an echo to erase it. The number of things you can echo depends on how much of Tri's power is available. Oh, cool! Hmm, so if we make another one here... Now we're in this cell. Now we can escape. Let's go! Ooh, I'm scared that we're gonna get caught though. I guess we can just go this way. Oh dear, there are guards in the way. We're gonna have to be stealthy. Or attack them. So I suppose we could place a table here. Oh, it's not big enough. Hmm. Ah! Oh no! How am I meant to go about this? Did I get locked up again? No, don't take me back to the prison every time. You're here in the king's order, so please stay put and don't cause any trouble. Oh. <laughs> I'm still getting the hang of this, guys. Let's try that again. <laughs> I'm not really sure what we're meant to do there, but I suppose we could go to there. And one there. And now we can sneak behind him. So smart. Zelda, you can see echoes you've learned by holding down right. Oh, okay. 
cool. Oh man, I can't jump on these? Okay, let's try a table again. Oof, it's still not tall enough. Oh man, this is difficult. Oh, I can just throw these? <laughs> you can't go again. You guys. I'm so bad at this. Um, so... This is supposed to be the simplest thing. And here I am. Oh wait, do you think I can just... Drop this on his head? Oh, it didn't work. Oh wait. Oh, I see. <laughs> Why is it so difficult? I thought it was going to be easy. <laughs> okay, I tried to just leg it through and you can't do that either. On this part, I think I need to block off the guards so that they don't see us. Like that. Okay, we did that part. So I think these ones are distracted, so we can just walk straight past them. Oh. So the other day I broke a pot to test a theory, and General Wright came running. I'm sure he gave you an earful about it. Actually, no. I threw the pot kind of far, and he ran to where he heard it break. <laughs> General Wright is a simple man. <laughs> but I bet you guys are exactly the same. I can see some pots over here, so we can learn these. Yay! We learned the Hyrule Castle pot Echo. So I think we can grab this. <gasps> oh no. I did not mean to do that. I meant to throw it over there. So now he's distracted. And we can run past. <gasps> oh my goodness guys, we did it. We did it. We did it. <laughs> That was so scary! Oh, that was actually a lot more difficult than I expected it to be. I thought that was going to be easy, but make no mistake, the Zelda games are still going to be difficult even in this art style. Princess? I'm so glad you're safe. You're not hurt, are you? I can't even imagine what His Majesty is thinking. Claiming that you created that rift is preposterous. What? The King, General and a Minister are all imposters? And your friend Tri made you a... Tri Rod, was it? I see. Zelda can make use of the Rod's power. Where might Tri be now? You're here all on your own? Oh, I guess we're the only ones that can see him. <laughs> I think you're the only one who can see me, Zelda. Interesting. The world is truly a mysterious place. I will always support you, Princess. No matter what mysteries unfold. We'd better not dally. The phony king is speaking of executing you. We need to leave, and quickly. You'll stand out in your current attire, so I've brought something for you to change into. Oh, what is that blue fabric sticking out from your pocket there? I see, it's the cloak the swordsman was wearing. The size seems workable. It will do a fine job of shrouding you. Quickly now, before we're spotted. Okay, time to get changed, I guess. <laughs> Yay, here we are. Nice and cosy. <laughs> You've got a disguise. Woohoo! It's light and flowy and conceals your identity nicely. It smells like a musty dresser. Oh, really? I can spin around. You should be able to head along now without worry. Oh. The princess is missing! Find her! Hmm. Seems we have company. Leave this to me. Yeah. Lady Impa, who is that over there? It isn't the princess, is it? If it is, you must stand aside this instant. Mm -hmm. Stand aside? Hmm? No, I don't believe I'll be doing that. <laughs> oh my gosh, Impa, slay! Literally. Here, princess, take this with you. Thank you! You received a log. This log was given to you by Impa. There's a folded map inside. Hmm, I guess that's where we need to go. Make your way to the house marked. Tell them Impa sent you. They'll surely help you. Huh? This way! Ahead you'll find a shortcut that leads out of the castle. Use it to make your escape. Hurry now, princess. We will see each other later. Okay, thank you, Impa. Oh man, you have to sneak through here again. Well, let's learn this stuff. We've learnt... A decorative shrub echo. We can climb up here... This way. Oh, I guess we need to place one here. There we go. 
So we've built a bridge, now we have to go all the way back around. It's actually really fun, like, figuring out ways to get around using these little items. I thought that it was kind of silly when I first saw the premise. I was like, this is so silly, but I love just silliness in games, so I love that for us. And now we've learnt the old bed echo. Nice. And I did see online that you can apparently use the bed as a place to rest. Um, so it actually, like, fills up your HP. So yeah, apparently you can actually lay on it. Which I will try in a moment. Let's try this first. Oh. Okay, what about this? Oh, nice. So yeah, you can just rest in it. And apparently it fills up your hearts during battle. I think that's pretty cool. There we go. We've made it. Oh, and it's night time out here. The little spin we can do is so cute. Okay, so I think we need to go in here. Oh no! We're in the water? I don't want to run out of breath, so... Let's go down here and collect these rupees. Ta-da! We got a rupee, that's nice. I guess it's not as exciting when you're already a rich princess, but... You know, we love it. We're gonna need money on our adventure, I suppose. Especially as we'll be using a disguise. There we go. Managed to get up there. And now we've learnt how to use the boulder. Oh, I wonder what we're going to use this for. Oh, we can just push this. Nice. Can... do these float? Oh, nice. I'm going to go down and get the rupees. <laughs> That's fun. How do we get rid of the... oh, I know. We use the boulder. This is so smart. Look at that. I figured it out. I feel so smart. <laughs> These types of puzzles are really fun because like trying to figure out what sort of items we should use to get through things. It's actually so interesting and fun. Oh, what is all this stuff? Another one of those rifts? Another rift. Rifts have appeared occasionally for a very long time. Mending them was our job. Except, my power alone isn't enough to take care of a large rift like this one. Let's get away from it for now. Okay. Oh gosh. <laughs> you guys, I'm scared. Well, that was very, very scary. Good thing Zelda can swim, I suppose. If I was in this situation, it would not go well because I cannot swim. <laughs> You're awake. Good, let's go. Okay, we've woken up on the beach. We have learned to make a rock. Surely that's the same as the boulder. Maybe it weighs a little less. Like the sound of the sand when we walk on it. Very cute. So I am supposed to have come off already. I'm really enjoying this game. So I might play it for a bit longer. Oh man, I hope that that would smash it. How do you think we can smash this box? A vase maybe? If we lift it and... We figured it out. Cool. Where are we? Maybe that map thingy that person gave you can help us figure it out. Oh, we're all the way here and we need to get here. It's actually closer than when we were here, so it's actually made it our adventure a little easier. Oh, is this an enemy? Oh, a monster. It noticed you. Zelda, can you fight monsters? I'm sure I can. Oh. <laughs> I was expecting... Okay, we have to figure out, like, different ways to kill things. Which is very interesting. Oh. Wait, we can learn the monster? We learned the Zolt Echo. Nice! Defeating new monsters leaves a shimmer, which allows you to learn about them like you just did. But you can direct your echoes to attack specific targets. That's cool. I wonder if we get any rupees doing this. Oh, here we go. Yay! This is fun. <laughs> okay, I am already preferring this over Link's Awakening. It's so much fun. Oh, maybe we should test out using the monsters because I need to learn how to do this, so. Oh, look, they attacked him for me. That's cool. I can, I can pick them up. <laughs> I feel kind of bad doing that. Let's try it again. They'll attack each other, and they'll attack each other. 
Oh, what about those things? Will the slimes work against them? Oh, I guess not. Rocks, maybe? They're spiky, so I don't really know how we attack spiky things. Oh, and now we can learn them. Okay, so I had to come off the game, but I'm back now. I was nice and didn't play this game for the entire weekend so I could continue playing it with you all. If I'm confused about what we're doing, it's because I disappeared and guess what i am kind of confused about what we're doing i'm gonna have to remember all the controls again we have to find some way up here or up here maybe um i'm gonna go up here first actually we can probably use a table will this work maybe no <laughs> uh maybe we could put one here oh there we go and we got a piece of heart collect four and your maximum number of hearts will increase Interesting, okay. Well, looks like that's all there was up there anyway, so now we can focus on getting up here somehow. I suppose we could use a wooden box, then a table, because I don't think we can jump- Oh, we can jump up here now. Okay, okay, let's get rid of all these. <laughs> oh no! We can't jump up it there for some reason. A shrub, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm meant to do. That doesn't work either. Oh man, we're so close. Am I just being dumb? I think I am. Maybe I just can't get up there. Oh, well, there's rupees over here, so we can get some of those. Swim past all those monsters. Oh, I know, we probably just need to... These float, right? Yeah, so we can just jump up here. Oh. <laughs> you guys. So dumb. I don't know how to do this. Uh, table. Okay, we did that. Now, we can use the beds as a bridge, maybe? Oh, that didn't work. Okay. <laughs> okay, we did it. That took so long. Why am I so dumb? And how do I kill these guys again? A rock? Oh, yeah. Okay, that was it. We just smashed them to pieces, I guess. Alright, we did it feel good now. Do we go down here? I guess so. And now we're in the beach cave. Let's see. What is there under here? Oh, there's bats. I suppose we could just throw rocks at them again. Oh my goodness. I feel so bad doing that. Oh, we can learn the bat now. Oh, it's called a key. Sorry. Well, now we can use that to fight things, I think, which is pretty cool. Oh, by the way, guys, I'm loving this game so far. If you were wondering if I would recommend this game, so far, yes. I feel like I know what we have to do. So I jump across here. Yep, and it smashes it. So we just have to, like, chuck boulders off of here, which is super fun. <laughs> Smash. Clean them all up. And last one. And now we've got another heart. So we've got two of these now. So we just need two more. Um, let's try out a new monster. So let's point it at those. See how it attacks them. Interesting. I like it that we can just like use monsters on our side. I think that's really cool. I like the little birdies that fly away. They're just like scattered everywhere. I want to go up here and get that treasure chest. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> oh, we need something to oil on the table this time. So we're going to need another wooden box. And a table, of course. There we go. And now we've got a chest. And we got... 50 rupees, that makes you really happy. Yeah, that does make me really happy. It's cute as well, because it's purple and it matches our dress. I just really like her little lilac dress. I think it's super cute. And uh, I'm a big fan, and I really want this little dress for myself, because it's so cute. I'm someone that actually looks really good in lilac as well. I appreciate a princess in lilac, what can I say? The other princess I can think of that wears lilac is Rapunzel, and she also looks great in that colour. So, yeah, just a nice colour. I like it, I think it suits Zelda a lot. Look at this little village we found! Oh, lovely. Hello. Welcome to Southern Village. It's usually nice and quiet here, but now things are terrible. If only Link were here. Who's Link? What's going on? How does Zelda not know who Link is? Is this set before? No. This isn't set before they met, is it? 
I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Who's Link? Link is a young fellow from this village. He's better with a sword than anyone. He helps us with lots of problems. Monsters, weeds, you name it. But he's gone off on a journey right when we need him. How curious. Link wears a cloak like yours. Ah, Link, I hope you're alright. A rift appeared north of here and it grew so fast that one of us got caught inside. What's worse, we can't even run to Hyrule Castle for help. The rift is blocking the way there. Please, you stay safe out there. What a nice guy. Hi. A rift swallowed up one of my neighbours. There must be something we can do, besides pacing. Well, I hope so. Is this meant to be Hatano Village? It does have Hatano Village qualities to it. I feel like this is just an entirely different universe. I don't know. Guys, I need to stop trying to make connections between Breath of the Wild. And let's just enjoy this game. I got a trampoline. What a great gift. You can play with it too. Thanks. I'm going to learn it. We earned the trampoline, Echo. Awesome. Can we actually jump on this? Oh. <laughs> so cute! Hey! The rift nearby is huge, and it's terrifying being so close to our village. It could be in Southern Forest too. A strange old man lives there. I hope he's okay. Well, we'll have to go check on him in a moment. I want to check out all these little people's houses. Look how cozy! Isn't this so nice? Oh, we can learn this. Oh, meat? <laughs> you learned the meat, Echo? Oh, I bet we can use this to distract enemies, especially those Bokoblins. They're definitely going to get distracted by that. Okay, so definitely a good idea to check out inside the buildings in this game, guys. Let's check in this one. Ah, oh, there's someone in here and more things to learn. Now we've learnt to make the pot. I assume this is different from the other pot we know. Look how many people sleep in here. Tiny little house for so many people. We're pretty upset around here. One of us villagers has been caught in a rift. And we can't escape either. The forest nearby is crawling with monsters. Oh, I'm sorry. But how cute is this house? <laughs> the little shelf of the plant. So adorable. I am just obsessed with the graphics in this game, guys. Everything is so little and cute. Oh, it's a shop. Hey. Welcome. Potions, sweets, you'll find a tasty selection here at the southern shop. Come on in, take a look. Uh, I just want to chat. What do you think of my stock? Potion sweets, all that you need for adventure. Oh, there's another heart here. Hey. It's 80 rupees. Collect four on your maximum number of hearts will increase. I only have 85. Mm. I don't want to spend them all in case I need them for something. What's this though? A red potion. It's an ancient formula that has been used throughout history to restore health. Yeah. Oh, it's floral nectar. Sweet nectar with a floral scent. When used in a drink, it boosts the effects of the other ingredients. Mm. Can we cook in this game? I want to cook. By the way, look how cute the little cat is sleeping on the roof. <laughs> so lovely. And let's go check out this house over here. Ah, oh, it's lovely and peaceful. Is this Link's house? Yeah. Hmm. Well, there is a little cooking station. But it's not like we can use it. But this does remind me of Link's house. So, I feel like it is. Alright, let's head this way. What's this? A signboard? Uh, we learned the sign echo. Oh, I wonder what we can use that for. Is that a Korok or something? What is that? Hey, Zelda. Have a look at this. Yeah, what is that? This waypoint has been recorded. Oh, you can now warp here using the map. Oh, fun. Alright, it's lit up. These are waypoints. We use these a lot. Rifts can appear all over the place, so we use these to travel quickly around the world. Once you interact with one, you can travel to it at any time. I'm sure they'll be helpful. Waypoints can be found in lots of different places. If you spot any, make sure to check them out. Oh, okay. I will. But whatever we need to find is up here. Oh, dear. Hey, shout if you can hear me. Oh, no, his face. He looks so scared. Uh, who are you? No, no, it doesn't matter. Can you please, please help us? Uh, hey, that cloak looks a lot like Lynx. Are those cloaks trendy right now or something? Ugh, what am I doing? This is no time for idle banter. My wife got swallowed up by the rift. Wife, can you hear me? I'm right here. <laughs> for some reason it's so funny he just calls his wife, wife. What am I meant to do? I don't know if I can jump across. Yeah, everything just disappears. I can't jump over either. I suppose I'm gonna have to walk all the way around and see if I can do something that way. Let's see. There's lots of lovely trees this way. I'm sensing lots of creatures in this area. I think the place marked is up ahead. Uh, let me get my... keys out so that I can use it to attack these enemies. Oh no! 
choice. Thanks. These little guys are so helpful. So we could go in here. Uh, oh, there's so many little places I want to look. So we can go up here, but there's nothing around here. Oh, we can probably just climb straight up. The table work. Nope, we need it to be a little bit bigger than that. Okay, let's get rid of these bats. Oh wait, actually, let's try a new trampoline. I really want to try that. Okay, let's see if this works. <gasps> Yay! This can make things a lot easier than having to put a box and a table every single time. So let's see what's in here. It's more rupees. I like these little birds. I feel like they're telling us the right way to go, you know? Do you think we should cross straight over? Do you think that's something we can do? I'll place a box. Um, and I'll get these back out. He seems a bit confused. Why aren't they attacking me? Oh no, he crashed into a rock. <laughs> They're not the smartest, are they? Um, okay, let's try... I guess I just throw a rock at him. Oh my goodness, it's not working. How did the slimes beat my bats? So I feel like there's something underneath this boulder. Maybe we have to throw another boulder at it? Hmm, that didn't work. Oops. Uh, I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> Does something seem suspicious about this boulder? I'm not really sure why. Uh, anyways. Let's get this chest. And we got five Electro Apples. This item can be used to recover hearts, but it's more effective when mixed into a drink. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Now we can... Oops, I didn't want to do that. Oh, we didn't even need a box to jump over the water. I think there's anything hidden in the water over here. I don't see anything. It's not like any treasure is down there for us. Let's check out this cave. Oh dear. Don't worry, I have a little bat on my side. <laughs> Ooh, we got more apples. Oh, a flame slime? How am I going to kill that? I don't have anything ice related. Will the bats work? <gasps> oh no! Oh no no no! I could try rocks. Oh, that didn't work either. Uh, oh man, how am I meant to kill that? So I don't really know how we can fight them. I'm just going to run straight through. Luckily if you point at the slimes, the bat will just attack them for you. Which is pretty cool. So I don't really have to do much. I like having the little bats on my team. But the rocks do get in the way. <laughs> they just all pass out getting hit by the rocks. I kind of wish we could move those boulders. It just feels like there's meant to be something underneath them. Oh, this place is locked. <gasps> I know, we have to use that fire slime to light this. But we don't have anything fire related. Hmm, I guess we're missing something. We might have to come back. For now let's keep exploring this way. Watch out for monsters hiding in the grass. Okay. Oh yeah. Look at that. <gasps> it's a snake. <coughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Are the bats scared of the snake? We could try sea urchin. Will that work? <laughs> I don't like the way he chased me. Scary. Hello. Scary. Of the rope echo? It's a rope? I'm guessing that's just a type of snake. That was scary. <laughs> I want to see if they can fight each other. Oh man, they, they do not fight each other! <laughs> I don't like the way it chases me, it's so fast. Let's keep exploring this area. I feel like the birds are telling us the right way to go. Also, what is that? Boko bin over there. That is a pig. Not a fan of that. Have we gone in here yet? I feel like we haven't. Let's check this out. Okay, so we definitely haven't been in here before. Oh, there's multiple layers. Let's try... Trampoline? Will that work? <laughs> oh no! Oh man, oh, this is so difficult. We could do a shrub. A trampoline to jump onto the shrub. Okay, that doesn't work. Never mind. Let's see what's down here. I don't know what that is. 
Should we try our bat and see if our bat works? Oh, that didn't work. What about this? Oh man, does that not work? <laughs> what the heck? What about a boulder? <laughs> this isn't working. What the heck? Well, they can't attack us now, so... Love that. We can't move this though. Interesting. Will this destroy it? No. How do we smash through this place? I don't think these work. Oh! They do. See, it's quite interesting finding out which items break which things and uh, how to get through different places like this. Because I didn't think that would work, but it does. I still don't know how we kill that little armadillo thing though. <laughs> Which isn't good because there's another one right there. Let's see, I think a trampoline in here might work. If we place one here... Oh man, that doesn't work. No, what the heck? That's strange. Okay, what about a box and a trampoline? Oh, okay, that worked. Yay! And we got another heart. Now, I don't even think we need to kill that little guy over there. Yeah, we don't have to. And I'm really happy because we got the heart, so we can leave here now. I think this is the right direction we need to go. I do not know how we're going to defeat these guys, though. Oh, the bats do work. And we got a monster fang. We learned the spear moblin echo. So I assume there's going to be other moblins with different weapons we can learn. That's pretty interesting. Also, is that a fairy? <gasps> Guys, there's a fairy! How cute is that? Hi! That is so cute! I don't know what it did, but it made me happy, so... <laughs> okay, so left is the southern prairie and right is the southern ruins. Um, doesn't look like there's much this way because it's all taken up by... this? Was this where we were supposed to go? Looks like the rift is blocking the door. Zelda, my role is to mend rifts. I have lots of friends who do the same. We all work together fixing up rifts. Normally, my friends fix them quickly, so it's weird that it's still here. I wonder if something happened to them. Zelda, will you investigate with me? I'm guessing my friends are in the rift, and if we find them, we can mend this rift easily. Let's head this way. We'll need to find an entry point. Okay, I guess we can't just like sneak into the side of that house then. <laughs> we need to find Tri's friends. This place is so nice to explore. Oh my goodness, there's loads of them. <gasps> okay, I'm going to make a save. Just before we do this, because I have a feeling I'm going to die. We know that the snakes can kill them. But the snake is too stupid. Okay, what about... Oh yeah, I can just use another moblin. And they're doing a pretty good job. Oh no! He died! What about a rock? Can I get a rock? Yep. Oh man, that didn't work at all. Oh no! Oh, we did it! <laughs> Oof! That was difficult. We probably could have just distracted them with some meat over here. And then I imagine we could have just snuck up behind them. Here we are. Let's open the chest. And we got 10 bunches of refreshing grapes. You're telling me those pigs would be that defensive over some grapes? Let's see, I want to crush these chests with a boulder. Oh, it didn't work. Ooh! We got some floral nectar. Ooh, we got another waypoint. Yay! Alright, so we got two of these now. We can now warp here as well. I knew it. I can sense my friends in there, but they can't move. It seems like they're trapped. If that's the case, they won't be able to mend the rift at all. I think we'll have to go in there and help them. Then we can deal with this rift properly. We can save them if we work together, Zelda. So, what do you say? I suppose we might as well go in there. Even if it is terrifying. Hmm. Wow, they're so sparkly. <laughs> Alright, we can go in there now. Let's go save my friends. Uh, we should also save Link while we're in there, if we can. Let's go! <laughs> Ooh, 
Ooh, distilled southern forest. So this is what it looks like down here. Ooh, spooky. This is the still world. Everything you see floating around here was sucked in for a rift. Anything that ends up here will begin to break apart and eventually vanish completely. Me and my friends have the ability to restore things that have ended up in rifts though. Speaking of, I sense my friends deeper in here. Let's go Zelda. Alright. This place is very eerie. What is that? Will a spear mobbling help? Oh. <gasps> oh my gosh, 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 oh my gosh! <laughs> that thing is terrifying. I don't know what it is, but I'm scared. When people get pulled into rifts, they kind of petrify and can't move anymore. And if they stay that way, they'll eventually fade away. But that won't happen to you, Zelda. You're special. Can we not save them? Oh, I feel so bad leaving them there. So we can eat these to heal hearts, which is pretty cool. Hopefully my bats can kill these bats. Oh yeah, they could. Awesome. And we've opened a new way. I thought we were going to have to place an object on that to keep it open, but I guess not. We can just run straight in. Oh. I'm terrified. I'm scared. I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. Okay. We did it. <laughs> Sorry if I'm quiet while I'm attacking enemies, guys. I'm just so focused on what's going on. Anyways, we can head through here now. Okay, so we're up here. I uh, don't know why we have to leave that poor person behind though. That's making me really sad. We could jump- oops! I did not mean to do that. Uh, <laughs> there's more creepy monsters. We could go through here. Um, um, we could also go across this way using beds again. We need to be able to get across here, so we're probably going to need to use a trampoline. Oh. How are we going to get across here then? Okay, what about if we used a table, then placed a bed on top of it? Now we can't get on top of that. Do you guys understand what we're meant to do here? I genuinely do not know what we're meant to do here. <laughs> hmm, I don't know. I don't get it. I guess we have to go down here. Let's explore this area. Gotta tell you, I do not like fighting these moblins though. They scare me. Apart from the moblins on my side, of course. <laughs> I love my trusty bats though. They always do be out here helping. Alright, we did it. And we got a, what is that, a heart? Monster guts. Ew! This material is dropped sometimes by defeated monsters. You can't use it in its current form. Oh, okay. And we got some rupees. Hooray! I'm sad we can't get that chest though. I can't figure out how to get that. I feel like we need an item we don't currently have or something. I don't really get that, so... Let's go this way for now. And there's one of those creepy monsters, which I'm not a fan of. They really scare me. There's another person this way. Oh, I feel so sorry for them. Hey, I remember this one from the castle. I can restore her back to normal if we mend this rift. Okay, hopefully we can. <gasps> oh my gosh, why is it? <gasps> Dude, what the hell? Those things turn into bats? Oh, those are all my bats. I was seriously trying to fight my bats with my own bats. <laughs> I couldn't tell what was going on. I was thinking they all looked the same. There was a way down here though that we didn't go check out, so I want to check out this way too. Yeah, what's to the right over here? Oh. Is this another situation where I'm not going to be able to reach it? Oh no, we got it. Just a couple of rupees. I'm sad that we weren't able to get that chest though. It seems like that's the only thing in here I wasn't able to get so far. What is this? A creepy little building? This is where you were trapped not too long ago. We're getting closer to my friends. They're further in, but we're getting there. Okay, let's get that waypoint. So, looks like there's multiple floors in this place. And we're getting given some food before we go in. So I'm a bit nervous. Uh, but let's head in. 
Now, what are you guys thinking of this game so far? Do you think it's cozy? I think it's very cute, but it can be a bit scary. Well, not scary, but nerve-wracking with the monsters. I get a bit nervous, but they're really, really cute. So, and I also feel a lot more relaxed than I would doing battle in a game like Breath of the Wild, which is the kingdom where I would be much more nervous during the battles. But in this game, it feels a little bit more easygoing in the battles and more we have to think about what you're going to use and, and how you're going to get around things rather than that you're just not strong enough for the enemy, that sort of thing. That's a pretty big rock, huh? You know, when I'm fixing rifts, I have to move a lot of things around. I bet the ability to do that would come in handy for you. If you guide me with the rod, I can move things for you based on your movement. Try facing this boulder and then guide me by pressing X. Okay. Oh, we're bound together. Okay, now try moving. Awesome, so now we can reach the button. Hmm. It's very satisfying pressing on that. <laughs> Makes a nice little button sound. Ooh. Interesting. I always loved doing that. Actually, one of the first Zelda games I ever played. I swear it was on my Game Boy or my DS when I was younger. And one of my favourite things that I loved doing on it was... Smashing all the pots. I don't know why. It just was very satisfying to me. But we've just uncovered a secret way in here. Um, but I am thinking, is there a way I can move this over there? Oh. Interesting. Oops, I can. And there we go. So now we can get across there as well. Let's see. I want to know what's this way. <gasps> Ooh. I have a treasure chest. How do I get it though? Okay, so my recording software crashed, but to get the chest I had to get try to pull it out for me using the technique we used with the huge rock earlier on. So let's see what's inside. We got is that butter? Five portions of radiant butter. This butter was fermented in such a way that it shines brightly. You can't use it in its current form. We're getting all these ingredients for cooking. I assume we're going to unlock cooking at some point, uh, which is very exciting. Now we can continue on and we need to head into that little area we unlocked down here. Oh goodness, there are spiders. Oh gosh, that is scary. Um, can we jump on these? Oh, we can. Cool. Um... Do you think we can use a boulder to uh, kill the spider? <laughs> oh, I feel so bad. <laughs> oh my goodness. That did not kill the spider. What about a snake? Would that work? Oh goodness. What kills, what kills the spider, guys? I don't know. Does a slime work? No. I have no idea. A bat? <laughs> Will a bat work? kill this guy. I don't get it. I want to be able to use a spider. <gasps> Yay! Thanks little guy. And now we can use our own spider if we want to. The Strantula Echo? Strantula? I love the name for things in this game. Uh, okay, we're probably gonna need a trampoline. To jump up here and grab that. There we go. Uh, sorry little spider, I am gonna have to uh, use a boulder to crush you, if you don't mind. How am I gonna get up here? Can I use a spider? Oh, interesting. It does connect. Oh, that's so cool. That's awesome. And we got a dungeon map. Now you can see the dungeon layout and this area of the still world. Interesting. So yeah, that's the chest we couldn't get earlier. I'm so upset about that. I just couldn't figure out how to do it. Okay, so we can go down now. I need to get rid of this because I can't get down otherwise. Oh my goodness, I did not realise they... <gasps> that's horrifying. That's actually horrifying! <laughs> I'm so scared. I did not like the spiders, guys. Guys, I keep trying to use my trampoline to get up everywhere, but 
So far, I've not been able to use it that often, which saddens me because I love trampolines. <laughs> I love just using random beds. And also, did you guys see that Nintendo have released profile icons for this game? And one of the icons you can have is just a bed. I just think that's the funniest thing in the whole world. It's so random. I saw this meme that was like everyone saying, Nintendo's gonna announce the Switch too. And then Nintendo actually, here's a profile icon of a bed. <laughs> This is so funny. I love Nintendo just always doing their own thing, you know? There is a fire slime again, and I still don't know how you defeat these. Do you think a uh, moblin? I just don't really get how we want to kill these things. I can't really tell if it's actually doing any damage. Do you think a strangler does? Ooh! Nice! And now we've learnt the Ignizal Echo? Oh, that means we can go back to that place we were at earlier, which I'm really excited about. By the way guys, I've been recording for a long time and I don't know when's a natural stop point for this game. So I may have to stop soon, but I've been enjoying playing this so much, so hopefully you guys have been enjoying watching me play it. I will most likely be playing some of this off camera because I'm enjoying it so much. Oh my goodness, what is that? Uh, Moblin? Please help me, Moblin. Please, please, please. And also, it resolve, please. Please. Oh, it resolves not doing anything. Maybe my bats will help? This guy's terrifying. He's completely covered in armor. Dude, he's so scary. He can't attack me when I'm on here, though. <laughs> Yay! We learned the Dark Nut Echo. Dark Nut? Like Dark Knight? Is that what he's meant to be? I don't know. Dark Knight is a funny name though. Oh, should we go left or right? Oh, I guess right is blocked off. So we can't go that way anyways. But we can go this way. Yay. Okay, I think we can maybe use the trampoline. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> I love being able to use that. And I love smashing these pots. It's very satisfying, even if you don't get things inside of them. Okay, so now we can head down this way. Alright, so yeah, there are things that need to be ignited here, like these little torches. So, do I just throw these at- Oh! That is so cool. Okay, and we break these pots with the- yep. with the sea urchin. We have to be really quick about it, otherwise it doesn't work. Oh! Oh, I know, we can use, um... There we go. <laughs> I forgot- I forgot Tri's name. Um, yeah. Did that, and can try move this for us? Oh, she can't, okay. Well, how do I, will it Ignazol work on these? <gasps> they do set on fire. I was thinking, will they actually set a light? That would be really cool if they do. Wow, that's so cool, and we figured it out. Oh yeah, and we got some apples. <laughs> Alright, so now we can head up this way. It's a really, really fun, like, figuring out these dungeons. And we've got another waypoint. What's going on there? Oh, It fell! I hoped we could keep the shield. Aww. Oh well, at least we can go through here now. They're just so evil. <laughs> I do enjoy battling this way, but... I do kind of wish we had a sword and I think you do unlock a sword at some point and you're able to fight like how Link used to fight but I don't think you can do it very often I think you mainly have to fight like this Zelda which is fun I, I like that she has her own unique way of battling oh there's a uh, a dark knight over here we can probably use our own to defeat him <gasps> oh they were like asleep look at them battling Oh, I can only use one at a time? That's crazy. Okay, we killed one. Oh, we did it! Woo! Who needs Link? I have my own Dark Knight over here. Um, how do you think we get over here? Okay, so we can jump on here, on here. Huh. I can never figure these simple things out. Oh, I know. Can we not use the spider to help us get up there? Oh, I think we may have figured it out. Yeah, the spider's gonna be so helpful a way to get up here, so we can probably just do the classic box table technique. Oh, I guess not. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, we did it. 
all that just for some rupees. Oh, we got 50 rupees though. Okay, that's pretty good. It's so interesting. I love just like the random stuff you can use to help get around. Um, I'm enjoying this game so much more than I thought I would. I mean, I thought I was going to enjoy it, but I it just looks so fun to figure your way around things and it's not too stressful. Oh. Huh? Is that the person who fought the blue monster? It's Link? Oh my goodness. We're gonna have to fight Link now? Oh, um, um, I'm sorry, Link. What about this guy? Will he work? Um. <laughs> no! No! Oh my gosh, guys, he's so fuzzy, so scary! Um, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. Okay, so I can distract him with those. He's distracted by those, so I can probably just run around and spawn another one. I keep doing that. Do you think that's pretty smart? Because he keeps getting distracted and then these guys get a hit on him. Although he is pretty strong, he is Link after all. <gasps> we did it! Okay, that's actually a pretty good technique. Oh wait, no we didn't do it! <laughs> no! He powered up or something! I'm scared. Did we do it? I feel like this is a pretty good technique, but I feel bad because it's Link, you know? We did it? I think we actually did it that time. <laughs> Oh, Link, I'm sorry. Oh, he left the Master Sword. Wow. That was intense. He looked like the guy who helped you before, but this one wanted to hurt you. He was weird, like the imposters back at the castle. Looks like he left something behind. Let's see, is this how we get to fight as Link? <laughs> Yay! We got the Mysterious Sword. It's the weapon the swordsman in the green tunic had. The name Link is engraved on it. I feel powerful energy coming from that sword, even more powerful than the large rifts. Yeah, that sword has a special kind of power. Wow, I can't believe it. We have Link's sword. And now, I'm pretty sure we can transform. Whoa, it's so sparkly. And now we look like Link. So cool. <laughs> You look strong, like that guy who wears green. So we can raise our sword and enter sword fighter form. And you can also do a charge spin attack. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay, we can just slice everything down. That's awesome. Oh, I love it. But yeah, looks like this form runs out quickly. The energy in the upper left corner will decrease. You'll automatically exit sword fighter form after the energy is depleted. That makes sense. I mean, you're supposed to be playing a Zelda, not Link, you know? It's a good thing the game kind of encourages you not to play as Zelda because we can play as Link in any of the other games. So trying to play in a whole new way as Zelda in this one, I think is the right way to go. I find this really interesting because we've just fought Link at, I feel like this is like at the very beginning of the game. And yeah, I'm really excited to see what's next because I feel like that's something that usually would be at the end of the game. But we've had to do it right at the start, so it feels like there's so much more stuff to explore in this game beyond Link. And I also find it really interesting that this in this universe, Zelda doesn't actually know who Link is. As someone who's only played the more recent Zelda games, and I did play a couple of the old ones when I was younger, but I didn't really know what was going on. Yeah, I feel like that's just a really interesting idea, and I'm excited to see where the rest of this story is going to go. What is this? A heart pin? This hairpin has a distinctive heart design. It makes hearts appear a little more often. You can wear different items that will have a variety of benefits. Oh my goodness, we got a little hairpin! That's so adorable! Alright, so now I think we can just keep going this way. I don't know how much left of this little dungeon area we have to do, because we've already defeated Link. Um, and there's all these little like energy pieces around, which have refueled our ability to, to use Link's sword, which I think is pretty cool. Here we have another waypoint. It's locked. Oh, I don't know how we open this. Did we just come from this way? I don't remember which way we came from. <gasps> 
Okay, how do you guys think we defeat these guys? They remind me of those flowers from Mario. I did not mean to spawn a spider. <laughs> Let's see, do you think our Ikazo will work? Oh. Oh, it does set on fire. I guess that worked. Yay! <laughs> and now we can learn it. It's the Deku Baba Echo. And so over here, we have somewhere we need to cut down with Link's sword. So to use that, we need to press up and slice it down. Do you think we can just kill this guy using the sword? That's so easy. <laughs> it's a lot easier playing as Link than Zelda. I'm going to use my sword power again. Look how easy that is. And now we've unlocked two other ways around the dungeon. Oh, I don't know which way to go. Well, let's collect our rupees and our sword fighter energy over here. Um, I guess let's check out this way first. How do we get over there? Oh, I think I know. So I think we can use Tri's ability here. Then if we go up here... Oh, I figured it out. There we go. Now let's press the button. And we can collect our treasure chest. That was easy. And we got more rupees. <laughs> Yay! Okay, now we can go check out the other door. So we have two torches and a plant. Hmm. Uh. Oh. What the heck? I didn't think I'd actually be able to do that. That's awesome. Tri's power may be my favourite so far. Because it really reminds me of in Tears of the Kingdom. Where you can just like move... Uh, all the items around and like join them together. But let's see what's in this chest. We got the key! It can open a locked door. Okay, so now we should be able to head back to the original place and see if we can get through the door. So hopefully we can open this door now. Oh. Oh, I guess we can't. I guess this key is for this door. Alright, so there's another puzzle in here. So maybe this needs to be moved over here. There we go. Easy. I figured it out. It was so much fun doing that. Oh, and there's another door up there. Okay, well, let's check this out. Another little underground area. And we have this little platform. That will help us travel this way. Oh yeah, Zelda. There's one more thing you can do when using bind. After binding yourself to something with X, try holding R. While holding R, your movements will follow what you're bound to. So if we bound to that, press R, and now it will drag us along. <laughs> That's so cool. Now we can climb up here, go across. I'm guessing we have to do the same thing. So these little platforms are a whole new thing. This is the first time I've seen these in the game. And this is, I feel like this is the uh, first dungeon that we are really having to do. But it's really fun so far. I'm enjoying it. I know a lot of people who played the old Zelda games really wanted dungeons, like proper dungeons to make a comeback because dungeons like this where you have to figure things out were like a staple of the original Zelda games. I don't really know because the one of the old Zelda games I did play did have dungeons in it and that is one of the main things I remember doing. But I also really enjoyed Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom which didn't really have proper dungeons. But I'm really enjoying this so far. Um, I'm not someone who's usually very good at puzzles or figuring things out. I'm not the smartest in the world. But this is really fun so far. And I like figuring out what we have to do to get through the dungeon. And I'm interested when we're going to find the big key for the big door. So we got some rupees from this chest. Oh no! He floated away! You guys have to let me know in the comments what you think of this so far. Are you a fan of dungeons and games? I play a lot of cozy games so I don't really have a very strong opinion on dungeons. But so far in this game I'm really enjoying it. Okay, so it's another puzzle like this. How? Oh, Okay. So we're gonna need something to jump on top of to get high enough to mimic where this is. So, and a table so we can jump across it. Use Tri's power. There we go. <laughs> Yay! I feel like I figured that out pretty quickly. Alright, here's a huge chest for us. And this has the big key. Now you can open the big door. Yay! 
Okay, so now we can head back and see what's behind that door. And now we should be able to open the huge door. Nobody's here, but I definitely sensed my friends in this spot earlier. Oh dear, what is happening? I thought the boss for this dungeon was going to be Link, but I guess not. What is that? Seismic Talus? Um, my friends, they're in that creature. We've got to get them out of there. Come on, we can do this. Can we? Can we though? Can we though? I don't know what's going on. Luckily we can hide in these pots. <laughs> I think we have to attack this. Oh my goodness, I'm scared. <laughs> you guys, I'm really, really scared. Just keep getting my little knight to come out and fight for me. If he can get the first attack in, then I can go into my uh, um, sword fighter form and attack it better. I don't think he can reach it very well though. I might have to use my bat. But it seems really weak against him. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna go for it. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> oh my goodness. I did not mean to do that. Sometimes choosing your next attack is really, really hard because you have to struggle with the menu, which is very difficult. Oh, I know. I th oh, he did it. He did it. Okay, let's attack. Okay, I imagine we have to do that at least three times. So yeah, the next one's in his head. How am I going to reach that? <laughs> uh, I want to try my spear moblin. So he can probably get a good attack in. Okay, we did it for the final time, I think. Now I just have to attack this ball. And we did it. That was really fun actually. Oh, look at them all! They're so cute! <gasps> they remind me of those things in the latest Studio Ghibli movie. If you guys have watched The Boy and the Heron, there's these like little creatures and they look just like this. Zelda, these are my friends. We set them free. They're filled with energy and ready to get to work. So now we can finally fix the rift here. Using our echo ability, we can restore the entire area that was swallowed up by the rift. Watch this. I'm really excited to see this happen. I bet it's going to be so pretty. <laughs> it's so cute. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> My friends shed some of their power with me. Oh, so Try has levels as well that we can power up. Oh, they got an extra little triangle. I feel like I can do even more now. Try gained a triangle. Oh, awesome. Oh yeah, also they told me something while we were fixing the rift. They said that big rock monster showed up and captured them. So then they weren't able to fix the rift because they were trapped inside the monster. Oh, and one other thing. There are crystals that show up when we fix rifts. They're neat, so I'll give them to you, Zelda. Thanks! You got five unusual crystals from Try. Thanks, Try. And we leveled up. Hooray! I'm all finished up here, so we can head out now if you're ready. I think we can leave from that spot. Yay! And we got another heart. So now we have four hearts. And now we can leave this place. You can travel between the still world and your world here. Do you want to return to your world now? Yes, please. Okay, let's go. I'm really happy because I think that means we saved all those people that were stuck inside. And I really wanted to save them. The rift that was here is gone now. Which means we can reach the place you were trying to go to earlier. If we keep this up, we'll be able to fix all the rifts. And we'll be able to save your father. Yeah. You there. A moment of your time. 
Oh, hello. I am left, Minister of Hyrule. Pardon the intrusion, but could you tell me where we are? Oh, Princess Zelda? I'm embarrassed to admit I didn't recognize you in that cloak. Uh, why are you wearing that? So, we failed to save you from that beast, and now you're out here facing much danger. I must confess, I am surprised to hear of your abilities. And your friend Tri accompanied you this whole time? Yeah. Thank you so much, Tri. You can see me? Who could miss you? You're floating right there, and aren't you precious? I thought only Zelda could see me. Oh? So Lady Impa can see you? How odd. Oddities aside, I'm worried about His Majesty and the General. We'll need to make a plan. There's much to consider, but for now, let's head to the location Lady Impa told you about. Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. Would you mind showing me your map? If I recall correctly, yes, that's the place. That's where Lady Impa's brother lives. Makes sense she'd send you there. I'll lead the way. Follow me. I feel happy we have a little friend of us now as well. And I'm glad we saved the girl first. <laughs> I'm just happy it's just two girls on an adventure. Three girls, if you can't try. It's so cute. This is a girly adventure. This is one for the girlies. I love it. I'm so happy. <laughs> Also, her little space buns are so cute. Right in here, princess. Hello, sir. Pardon us, but my name is Left. Lady Impa is my colleague, and... What's that? I'm a very busy man. No time for chatter. Now get! I apologise for the unannounced visit, but please, it'll only be a moment. No, no, no. I'm about to leave. Come back later. If you could just hear us out. I. Said. No! I've got to go save Link. <laughs> huh? Hang on here. That's Link's cloak. So why do you have it? Did you see him? Well, um, I'm the princess. What? <laughs> okay, tell me everything. Tell me about the rifts and anything you know about the swordsman. Love Lubri's glasses. <laughs> hmm, I understand the situation now. Thanks for the explanation, princess. Whew, we finally got through to him. Alright, this has been bugging me ever since you barged in here. What is that floaty thing? You can see me too? That's strange. Zelda's always been able to, but now both of you can as well. You're telling me we're the only ones who can see you? That's odd. Indeed, such a fascinating and might I add, adorable creature. Yeah, yeah, sure, but back to the matter at hand. What is it that you and I have in common? We've both ended up in rifts and lived to tell the tale. It seems the rift changed people somehow. Oh yeah, guess I should introduce myself. The name's Lubri. I'm Impa's older brother. And the swordsman who saved you is Link. I made his weapon, the Sword of Might. Mr. Lubri, why did you make him a sword? Princess, remember that big nasty blue fella who captured you? The sword was for taking him out. See, I spent my time researching Hyrule's history and its rifts. For ages now, rifts have appeared and sometimes folks have ended up in them. Those unfortunate enough to be pulled into a rift vanished without a trace. After which townsfolk would say they'd been stolen away. Anyhow, Link made it his mission to fight the monsters that come crawling out of the rifts. He also tried to prevent folks from going missing, and I've been helping as I'm able to. Which is why I made him a sword, one that's effective against the rift monsters. The Sword of Might Princess Zelda's building is the very one I hoped would be of use to Link. So Link was helping out with the rifts as well. Plenty of monsters come out of rifts, but that blue one was particularly powerful. I've got a hunch that if we take him out, it'll fix the whole people disappearing business. Princess, you shared that Link managed to take the blue guy out, and yet the rifts keep coming. Clearly, we're missing something. The rift in the forest is gone, but Link's not back. What we need is more information. I may have something useful. When I was taken by the rift in Hyrule Castle, it felt like I was flown somewhere far away. The rift I was pulled into was at Hyrule Castle, but Princess Zelda found me in a rift in the forest. So how did I end up over there? Rifts don't follow the same rules as your world. Things connect differently inside them. My friends had mentioned something about oversized rifts in other areas. We might end up finding the king and other missing people in far off rifts. So maybe Link is somewhere else then? Hey, Zelda. I'm going to fly up high to look for some of the other big rifts. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> I try is so cute. I think I found some. There's no saying where Zelda's father and the others might be. But I did spot some big rifts we can go explore. Ooh, okay. Fun. I've marked them on your map, Zelda. If we fix the rifts, we may be able to save your father and the others. So let's get to work, Zelda. Princess Zelda, I must insist that you refrain from going to any more rifts. It's far too dangerous. That's up to her to decide, Minister. I mean, she's the only one capable of mending the rifts. During the time of crisis in Hyrule, we all have to play our parts, Princess Zelda included. You make a good point, Mr. Lubri. Yeah. Princess, I urge you to go with Try to the other rifts. You're the only one who can fix them and save all the people who've gone missing. Minister, you stay here and help me investigate the rifts. We'll play support for the princess. Oh, of course. Investigations are my speciality. Princess, the rifts marked by Tri are located in the Gerudo Desert and Jabal Waters. Please let me know if you require further information. Alright, princess. I leave it to you to find the king, General Rai, and Link. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. 
That sword you've got there? Pretty sure I can make it even more powerful than it is. I'll have to do more research on it though, so talk to me later if you're interested. Oh my goodness. This game really is playing as a cute girl with a cute girl fairy saving all the men in the world. <laughs> I love it so much. I think I'm going to leave this episode here for today though everyone, so please let me know in the comments if you want to see more Echoes of Wisdom on the channel. I may play some off camera, but I'm more than happy to come back and play even more with you on the channel if it's something you're interested in. I've enjoyed this so so much, would I recommend you pick up this game? Yes, definitely 100%. I've had so much fun, I don't have a single complaint, it runs really well, the music is lovely, the graphics are adorable, the characters are cute and interesting, the gameplay is really really fun. And I haven't got bored even once or too confused or anything. Everything about this game is great. Um, I genuinely don't have a single bad thing to say about it and I'm really excited to continue playing. So I hope you guys enjoyed playing Zelda Echoes of Wisdom with me today. Before I go for today, I do just want to say an extra special thank you to my wonderful Patreon supporters for supporting me this month. You're all the sweetest angels and I love and appreciate you all so so much. Oh my goodness, look at this picture. <laughs> Wanted Princess Zelda, if sighted, send word to the King of Hyrule. That looks nothing like me. This is literally that scene from Tangled with Flynn Rider and the wanted posters for him. <laughs> That's so funny. Anyways, yeah, this has been so much fun. Thank you so much again to Nintendo UK for sending me the game key. I'm so grateful that I even get to work with Nintendo and just so, so happy that I got to play a game as good and adorable as this. So thank you so much to Nintendo. Thank you so much to all of you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do consider leaving a like, a comment, or subscribing because it massively helps me out. I hope you're having a super lovely day. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll speak to you all in my next video. Bye! <laughs>